Wait, I don't have go oh you can use it with gems, right? Let us do a league with this deck. Are you sure? I think so. This ought to be fun. Take a break from ladder. Ooh. Shoulder just snapped. Maki Ju Jui Juiko. I tried. Um, Nickel Bolus, Mortify, Snap, sure. Mono Red, uh oh. I kind of hope it's black red. It's probably light up the stage or something. No, just stone cold nothing. Okay, well, this is how we win. They have a shock? Huh, okay. Didn't want me to take it either. So their whole hand's kind of uncastable. The only thing I. What the? Okay. Um, I can't solidly answer the Phoenix, but I can kind of answer everything else and just kind of hope Painfire doesn't kill me at the end of it. So I'm actually going to take Phoenix and uh, deal with their early game and hope they don't draw land. They do not. Sweet. Uh, I could kill this now just because I don't want them to... Um trigger spectacle and hit like light up the stage or something they're gonna hit a lane eventually all right um well now's the only time to cast this so let's do that they found something they can cast though it can only be a shock i think so maybe if they have another one they just hope for land and double shock nickel bullets this is also an insanely good blocker. Might just get rid of Banefire. You know, they get rid of the 3 1. Okay. I guess Banefire could just give them inevitability if it goes that far. Okay, yeah. Wow, they just totally didn't hit lands. Could be land light because it is mono red. Clarion, um, Thief of Sanity is a very good distraction, and I think it's better than my top end here. Like, just the more expensive the card is, the less likely I am to want it. Um, but I still want to take a controlling route and not, like, shave counters, bring in stuff like this. Teferi is also still a decent card. Like, having a Teferi in play is another distraction for them. Let's take out, like, one Wrath, bring this in. Maybe another Wrath, bring this in. Take out a Bedevil? Could take them all out, actually. Like, I have a lot of that effect. Well, sort of. And I have Clarions and Wrath, so maybe I don't need all these Bedevils. Actually, yeah, I think Teferi's good enough to want... This could gain me life. But not that much life. And if they sacrifice a Phoenix, it didn't do anything. It's either a wrath or a thief, uh, thief of sanity. I was gonna, <laughs> I was gonna say thief of sanity, thief of Thanos. Let's see, how important is the four minute wrath when I have six wraths? How important is just one thief? Probably not very important. I mean, if this makes contact, I can actually steal things that matter, like burn and stuff to answer their stuff. All right, let's actually do two thieves and. Three to fairies. Maybe two to fairies and three thieves. I think thieves good enough here. Again, it's a solid distraction. Like it will take damage. It's not a Lyra, but Lyra costs five. Oh, alright. Well, we have both the cards that we were not sure we wanted. <laughs> Looks like that's the game plan. No Thought Eraser, which would be one of the best things to have. 
Alright. Yikes. Looks like our game starts at 3 mana. I'd prefer to have a Thought Eraser. Or even a Search for Iskanta. Alright, well that's not good. This is a spot where that's a very solid card against us. Let's run out of Thief. They might just kill the Thief, but maybe they don't care if I block and trade. Looks like they don't care. Oh, nope, they have a shock. And two damage to the face still. Alright, um, this is bad. Does Kaya's Wrath? Wait. Yeah, alright. Make sure. Alright. Okay, can beat that. I might just Teferi Minus on that because it's not a very good draw later. And um, I don't want to go down to 4. And their next instance of damage might have to go towards Teferi when I have a second one. Wow. Yeah, their hand, it was solid. It was decent. It just it didn't come together for them. Unfortunately. There's a risk factor. That's why I didn't want to go down to four. Might just go down to four here, though. If they just do it again. Yep, let's just take four. Because we know their next draw is nothing to be scared of. Yep, see you, Stoligus. Thanks for watching. I'll kill it after it swings. It's going face. Yep. We need to move quickly. Jeez. Um. I guess I'll just counter this. I don't want to go down to two, or three, sorry, again. All right, well that's a, uh, I can't defend this Thief of Sanity, but it means their next point of damage has to go towards it. Uh, he's, uh, he's, I was about to call you Zayant Jiro. I keep switching letters. What is going on? <laughs> oh, I swear I don't talk like that in real life. I don't know why I keep doing that. Feel that land. Oh, there's the one card I can't solidly answer. I guess I can answer it here solidly, so I just take that. Yep. Minus it, steal it with the Thief of Sanity. Or just mill it if I see something better. Well, okay. That's another reason I don't like cast down and moment of craving, because there's always a chance you just win anyways, and they had a pretty solid opener. They even had a 3-1 haste that I think it hit me twice. It just, it didn't, uh... They couldn't, like, close it out. It does emphasize why Kaya's Wrath is probably better than Cleansing Nova, though. Speak of the devil. Alright, I'll keep this. Oops. This is a league, by the way. If you don't drink it. <laughs> Wait, if you didn't? <laughs> <laughs> I see. Oh, I didn't play the shock land. Oh, you guys distracting me. Ugh. Oh, is this Jess guy? Oh no, it's a guild gate deck. I'm gonna counter the hell out of its guild summit. Don't have it. All right, play this tapped. I'm not very scared of counters in um. Whoa. Alright. I don't want to counter this, but I guess I will. I'd rather just use my Wrath effects, but this means I get to safely Teferi. Well, I say that, but he could just Wilderness Reclamation, do some nonsense, and then I lose. <laughs> but let's hope that doesn't happen, shall we?
I love how so many there's like so many different ways to play uh, gate decks. Oh, looks like they held on to Guild Summit. I can't imagine what else this might be. Vivian Reed was not expecting that. This means it's a very creature heavy version. I don't know what else the gate decks run other than the Colossus and Goats. It helps you find lands, but that is sketchy. Alright, well I'm going to get it out of here because I don't know what's going on. I'll play the untapped source so I can leave up these two. <laughs> Nickel Bolas? What the hell? Alright, well I have an answer to it in my hand. Let's just get rid of this... Uh, land here. I'm going to use a Kaya's Wrath on it. Oh, maybe I don't have to now. You know what? I'm not done. This is... This is... This is weird. I like this deck. This is exciting. Opponents going off the wall. So this is like Guildgate Super Friends? Elders are born? Hehe. <laughs> nope, skis. Uh, there's a red source. Teferi's like we need to move clinging me on in this game. Um, let's just cast this now. Look for a counter spell. Did not hit there, so let's play this. I'm gonna shock myself to leave up Mortify. Might not matter because they just played Vivian Reed, but it could. What did you mess up, Fluff? What do you mean? Um. Yeah, this is spicy. This is all sorts of spicy. I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna Kaya's Wrath this. They chose to do this over Nickel Bullis. Actually, do I wanna? No, let's just Kaya's Wrath it. These Mortifies could hit enchantments like Elder Shaborn and stuff. That's good. That gets the Vivian read out of there. Let's do it before we uh, plus to Fairy. Gates Ablaze. There's a lot of creatures to be running that, but... Okay, well... Sure. Let's skip to the good part. Leave up Counterspell. I could shock... I'm going to shock myself here, actually. Leave up Chemistry's Insight. Although there's nothing in my hand I... I fin to discard if I... Uh... Okay. Now it's getting a little... I think I'm just going to... We know their whole hand. Let's just do this now. Alright. I might just... Yeah, I'm going to discard to Barry. Actually, no, let's just the land screw. Let's do that. If they have Banefire, I don't want to lose my Teferi. That was probably like the best land they could hit. <laughs> That's funny. I... It's not super relevant anymore for them, but... Alright, it's going to be hard for them to come out of this, but... I mean, they they can. They do have Eldritch Borns. This Thought Eraser is probably not going to do much, because I don't think they uh, have much in the way of interaction. I'm just going to not do anything in pass. Yeah, okay. I have no idea what's going on, and I have no idea what their sideboard is going to look like. Uh, I don't even know what to name with Unmored Ego. Like, from everything I saw, none of it was, like, ego worthy. Thief of Sanity? They might take out Gates Ablaze, so. I want the Eldest Reborn, I guess. Not too interested on. Clarion. Maybe a little too many Wraths, but there's still at least a one for one against things that cost three and four. Weird. Like, my whole deck right now answers everything they do. So I guess that's a reason to not sideboard at all. But Thief of Sanity could do something. But not really in the face of Vivian Reed, a blocking Nicol Bolas, um, Gates Ablaze if they don't take it out. 
which they might not because it's in their main deck surrounded by creatures so they might not even take it out anyways but they might think it's dead Thief of Sandy might not be the best here Let's... everything else is solid alright fine it's only game two Fine. I, I just like Thief of Sandy so much actually the only thing I put in was an Elder Born come to think of it um shave and absorb all right i don't know what's going to happen here they could turn into a completely different deck trying to mess up my sideboard options and then uh i just didn't really even sideboard so that's not going to work out for them if they kind of transformed into something else Which is totally possible. We will find out quite efficiently with Double Thought Eraser. Angrath. Yeah. Angrath. Maybe they have Angrath. That'd be something. Nickel Bullis, Deputy Gatebreaker. Unmoored Ego? No black mana. So I don't really have to worry about that. But I didn't bring in the uh, Thief of Sanity, so... I have an answer to this Gatebreaker. I'm going to take the Ego. I, I don't want to mess around with that. They're probably going to play Gatebreaker next turn. And it'll be a 3-3. Three, three, then it'll, No, it'll be a 4-4 four, four, and swing it's a 5-5 five, five next turn when they play a Gate. I'm still going to Thought Eraser. I don't want to deal with Nickel Bullis. Deputy's not scary and kind of interesting. I don't have mana for this. Go away. Let's just hope they didn't draw anything. Well, there's a... I'm just going to kill it now, because if they do find like some sort of negate or something, I don't want that to happen. Alright, well, no land, but they're not doing anything. Oh my. I do not have Bedevil Mana. I wonder if they have negates too. This is bad. Keep up the pace. Okay. I Yeah, I got to kill that. I got to kill that. Hope to draw a uh answer to the fairy here. Black source or just any land will do it. That's not what happened. I will Thought Eraser, though. Whoa. I guess I'll take an Elders Reborn. That's not a land. That'd be funny if I lose to a Teferi Ultimate. We need to move quickly. If I had Vraska's Contempt, I could cast it here, which is uh, unfortunate. Okay. I don't think they have any instant speed stuff. Alright, we found our escape from Teferi killing us. I mean, they're going to Eldritch Reborn, but... Uh... Oh, they don't have black mana still, but... Uh, probably pretty well positioned to find it. Binding. Okay. That I would much rather deal with because of Mortify. Okay, they found their black mana. We found a land that doesn't need to come in untapped. It does mean I can't bedevil, but there's nothing I really want to bedevil next turn. The turn after, however, we do. Yep. They just 
What? Alright, they're just running out the 1-3. Just running it out. I wonder if that was a mistake. I think they should have just cast the Arcway Angel. Because the life soul doesn't matter, and this could do something later where this doesn't do anything but the life. I'm actually going to assume that was a misclick. That was strange. Um, I could Mortify right now, but I don't think I want to. I'd prefer to Mortify after I've dealt with their Teferi and that Eldritch Reborn. So, like, wait for a counter spell or something. I can take one all day. They don't go for Teferi? Alright, so now I... Alright, let's let this resolve. Yeah, alright, now I'll Mortify. Weird. Didn't hit a counter spell, but I gotta wipe the board here. They're gonna play either Eligiborn or. Oh, let's find out. I would play Eligiborn before uh, Teferi. Yep. I have no answer to it. Let's see if I find one. That being. Oh, I don't have negates, so I, I can't. Alright, that was a good draw, though. Another Teferi. It does mean I can't exactly minus this thing. Hmm. Another Bedevil? Uh oh. Alright, let's see. Oh, I don't even have... I have one Mortify left? Alright, so let's uh, bank on this going off. Let's play to Fairy. I could try to minus this thing, but I don't... I don't really want to. I kind of want it to just go off first. I'll discard Blood Crypt. Oh, whoops. It'll go off and they'll get probably a Nickel Bolus, which then they can immediately flip. Okay, sure. There goes that. It means they can't steal it. I already have one dead, though. And they're definitely going to just take Nickel Bolus regardless. They decline to cast the Teferi. I'm going to Kaya's Wrath this... Uh, oh, now I'm not going to. <laughs> Let's slow this down. Oof. This means... No, they're still probably going to take Nicol Bolas with that Eldest Reborn. Just to try to flip it immediately. I'm going to Kaya's Wrath this nonsense. I could minus this now, actually, so they can't get anything. But then I'm kind of weak to them drawing it again. Um, Alright, let's just minus it then. I just don't... I really don't want to, but... Let's do it. Because they can actually just take Teferi minus on my Teferi, and I made no groundwork. I, I didn't... I didn't really get anywhere. Gate Colossus? Sure. That's a big one. I'd rather not kill it with a spell, but that means if they constantly get it back over and over, I, uh, I'm i just constantly dealing with 8-8. But as long as they're only drawing one card a turn, I can totally do that. Let's just snap this off, then. I want to keep the Mortify for enchantments, which I think is more important than Mortify for uh, Teferi of theirs. Could be totally wrong, though. About to find out. They say yes to this. That means they're not getting that Eldritch Born next turn. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me. Alright, that's what they're doing. Alright, this is another reason to keep um, Mortify. This also means that they reset the loyalty on Teferi. I'm just going to cast this now to Surveil. I'm probably never going to hit anything. Oh, sweet. Wow, we get to flip a Nicol Bullis too? I think... One, two, three, four, five, no, one off.
they're drawing nothing, and then we uh, flip Nickel Bullets and probably win. I do have to answer this thing, though. I could just minus it. I could just nuke it with Nickel Bullets. Alright, let's just flip this. Uh, doing four of them is not really... I mean, it's not really... Um, do I draw? Let's see. I can actually just Teferi minus and then steal a Teferi. Or I could... There's a lot of ways to do this. Let's just plus and then kill this <clears throat> with the Nickel Bolus. Smash this for 10. Play the other Nickel Bolus to soak the um, Eldest Reborn. Yep. Draw a bajillion cards. My knowledge is endless. Hurry. Yeah, there's nothing they can do. I might be able to ultimate and just entirely ignore that Elder Shaborn. They shouldn't have um Put that Colossus back on top. It could have gotten Elders Reborn a bit earlier. If that 8 8 had like haste or something, I can see putting it on top. Like if they were running Rhythm of the Wild. Alright, this hand works, and I'm on the play. Just no red mana. And seeing some interesting lists. Well, I guess the first one was mono red. Overgrown tomb. All right, this is Soltai. Haven't played Soltai in a while. Nope. Don't care about that. Just care about everything around it. Let's see if they have the jade light on three. Doesn't look like it. No, they don't even have a land? What? No explore creature either? What the hell? Okay. Um, sure. Oh, they do have a land. Let's just kill the wild growth. Thing. I don't care if they ramp out of Raska because I have, I mean, uh, Vivian Reed. I have the answer to that. Let's play this untap just in case we don't have to counter anything. I guess I could have took out the lantern whirls if they go double two drop. Uh, not too scared of that though. Looks like that's what's going to happen though. That's annoying. Alright, well, now we're just digging for a Kaya's Wrath, hopefully. This is totally a reason to kill the Llanowar Elves, but that means their uh, Wild Growth Walker would have been huge by now, and I wouldn't want to deal with it at sorcery speed. Let's see. I can shock myself to leave up a Devil, but I can't shock myself to leave up two cards, and I think Sabotage is better. Yeah, let's just play this Tap and Pass. Toronto, <laughs> nice. On your way to Toronto. Don't get stopped at the border. Yeah, we don't like your face, sir. We're not going to let you through. What? Nope. Sorry. This is fine finality. I could just 
dig for a board wipe, or I could counter this fine finality. What's it getting back? Some nonsense, I don't care. Like, this isn't too relevant, and this is post-explore nonsense. Uh, it gives them stuff to do, though. Maybe I don't want to deal with that. Yeah, fine. Let's just counter it. Board wipe? Nope. I'll take that, though. Yep, the board. You've lived a life of sin. What does that even mean? Cast down, sure. Absorb, nope. Looking for a Caius Wrath now. Um, I could even just shock myself to handle this 4 3, but still kind of really dead set on finding a Caius Wrath. Because I can take plenty of damage here as long as it's not lethal. I don't really care. I'm going to come to regret this decision, though, probably. Looks like I will. Didn't hit it. So I took a risk. Didn't work out. I think I'm totally dead because I can't kill this. Like, if, if I shocked myself, took four when it went down to six or something. Hmm. That sucks. I did hide red for my opponent, but I don't think it mattered. Damn. Wow. All right. There was Teferi and dead. Ripskies. So I could have just shocked myself to Bedevil. I mean, yeah, Bedevil that would have went down to, I think, six. Wouldn't have been immediately dead. Could have done something, but I chose not to. And I got punished for it. I want the thieves, that thing, that thing. Don't really care about Unmoored Ego. <clears throat> Don't like nickel bullets because it's hard to uh, flip. I'm actually, kind of impossible with all the nonsense going on. Let's take out some three mana counter spells. It's kind of hard to search for Escanta when they have Vivian Reed. All right, let's take it out. Take out like. One Kaya's Wrath? Maybe two? Take out a Teferi? And a Chemistry, sorry. I like these Clarions. So we have to deal with Disdainful Stroke, Negate, Duress, um, maybe more Vraska's Contempts. What else? Not too sure else how they sideboard. We're going to learn. Got all my colors, and I'm on the play? Alright, fine. Can cycle Consecrate if I need a land. Well, it needs a target, I think. Yeah. No Duress, no Land or Elves. No Branch Walker, no Wild Growth Walker. No, whatever that druid is. Whoa, what's going on here? Oh no, you gotta be kidding me. There's a branch walker. Okay. Yeah, let me exile my own chemistry's insight to, uh. <laughs> draw a card. Alright, there's a land. Uh, it's not a blue source, but I think it's still worth it shocking myself, so let's do that. Leave up Mortify and stuff. Opponent's probably totally confused, because I didn't see any red last game. Not even red mana. Like, what's going on? And that's not a uh, turn 5 Vivian rate. Uh, 
All right. I have a Clarion. I don't... I don't want a Clarion now, but I think I have to. Yeah, let's just do it. I mean, it's not getting that much better. They could just find Finality and undo this, but... I, I just didn't draw lands in time, so... And I only have one blue source. I do have Kaya's Wrath mana, which is kind of funny. Yep, there's the fine finality. They had to have something because they didn't have any early game. Alright, that's bad. They'll probably keep that. I'm gonna have to kill this one. Whoa, they didn't keep it. Okay. Um... Uh oh. I could wrath this, but I think I'll just wait till they jade light and then I'll just mortify this. Uh, my game starts just getting really laggy. Something about this wild growth walker like just lags my game. Yep. Yep. They don't want that. They probably want Karn. Don't see why not. Let's see if they have Negate. Nope. Could have Disdainful Stroke still, though, and that would be Soul Crushing. Alright, sweet. So they'll probably keep Karn on top. Get rid of this board, and then deal with Karn, somehow. Please don't have another fine finality. Just be Karn. Okay. Car's an interesting one. Uh, Assassin's Trophy? Don't really care about that one. Neither do they. Alright, so this means this dies to Assassin's Trophy immediately. But I do get to plus it. That's, that's gotta be wrong, right? I'd rather just leave up Consecrate. Like, why give them the Assassin's Trophy and then expect to handle it. Yeah, I don't even want to chemistry's main phase for land. I'd rather just leave a counter magic or guarantee myself to. I could hit a land to Fury Plus, but take the land. So what do they got? Two kind of not the best cards. They also don't know I have no basics. <laughs> the trophy is actually just blow up a land, which would suck. Let's see if they have a disdainful stroke. Uh, if they do, they're not interested. Alright, so we got there with lands. <clears throat> I just need a solid answer to Karn. But Karn isn't the scariest. Duress? New. Don't want to deal with Duress right now. Land anywhere else? Okay. Let's... Can Mortify... No, I like my whole hand. Ooh, sweet. Let's take out that Assassin's Trophy. Are they going to really snap it off? Wow, they are. Whoa. Oh, wow, it is all just lands. Alright. They learned I don't have any basics. That's not good. Also, what's down here? Nothing that answers to fairy, so let's uh, cast it. Game's bugging out here. Just have four lands, that's funny. Yep, they need to find something. Find finality? New. No. Take that Karn. They can take play that Karn and then take the find finality, which means they reset Karn. And I didn't have to answer the first one.
looks like that's what they're after. So this consecrate is going to at least undo some of what this uh, fine finality will do. They'll probably take double jade light. Let's see. Jade light, jade light. Yep, alright. Let's take a jade light. Teferi takes one. No more games. Man, they're pushing right through their whole deck real quick. Let's plus. You know what? I'm not done yet. Could really use a board wipe. How many do I have left? I've only cast two, so I got plenty left. Could just dig for one now, but. No, let's just snap off Mortify now. Play Watery Grave. Or, no, let's play a second White Source, actually. That seems like it would make sense. And pass. It's going to be hard for them to get under the counter spells. Okay. Take. Thought what? Oh, the rest, sure. Um, I guess I'll just counter it. Doesn't. It's not too big of a deal. There's a wrath. There's a Vivian Reed. That's bad. I guess that was a reason to not. Uh, and then they found a crisis. Uh, here we go. This is bad. Cast it for four or six, seven. How many discard spells do I have left? Three? So I guess if they didn't go for it, I could have tried to discard it. And I don't think they want that to happen. Alright, let's blow up the board. Let's minus on Vivian Reed, because that card's really annoying. Let's leave up a Chemist's Insight and pass. Another Viv well, that's the one we knew about. So I guess I'll just give it to them, so they can't take my counter spell. They're not going to go for the Teferi. I mean, the Vivian Reed in the face of counter magic. I don't imagine. It does mean a Crisis is really bad. <clears throat> Excuse me. Assassin's Trophy, sure. Only time will tell. They now know Assassin's Trophy is insane because I don't have any basics. Uh, Clarion? Nope. Would they draw a second Vivian Reed? Uh, maybe not. Okay, sure. Let's play Teferi. Plus. No time for a break. Could try to deck them out, but that might be harder than it sounds. Let's play this tapped and pass. They have three crisis left, if they're running four. Oh, thanks. And hey, hey, Vandy. <laughs> welcome, welcome. So they do the rest. It's not going to do anything, so let's let it happen. And thanks about the hair. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's got a lot of management to it, but I love the hair. Disdainful stroke. That's annoying. Let's not give them that. They have 19 cards left. Jeez. Going face. Face is the place. Let's discard a black source. We only have two white sources. I don't want to, like, get trophied away. I might just Clarion this, because after that, it... Uh, if they ever find an explore creature, it just doesn't work anymore. We need to move Special shampoo? Nope. Nope. 
I don't put anything unique in it at all. It just stands up on its own. I guess I can fire off a thing here, but there's no reason not to do it, or not to wait. Let's just wait. There's nothing I can find that I would cast here. Except maybe Thief of Sanity, actually? I can't remember if I sighted it in or not. Game's taking too long. I can't look at my sideboard. What? Okay, sure. They'll probably take the rest. They could take the Stainful Stroke, but... Oh, and also, thanks for the follow. Thank you, thank you. Yep. They fizzled... Fizzled uh, Vivian Reed. Oh, no. Alright. Uh, let's get rid of a red source. Doesn't really matter. Now, Vivian Reed's not the scariest because they are very light on cards. Also, now that I have Thought Eraser, I can discard whatever they find. Unless it's a Krasis and they cast it. Then Thought Eraser is not totally dead in that case, actually. There's the Krasis. So it can draw a lot of cards. A lot of gears for six. Or will eight? Nine? So they'll draw three. We got fourteen cards left. Let's discard another card they know about. Another Safari, okay. There's a good card to see. I'm going to Thought Eraser. Hopefully there's another Krasis I can snag. Nice. Thief of Sanity. Alright, so Mortify. I could just play this Thief of Sanity, which means they're not going to plus this Vivian Reed. But I don't think I'm going to do that. Let's just minus, minus on the Vivian Reed. Make the Vivian Reed less and less relevant as the game goes on. Play the land they know about and pass. Yep, there's a Druid. Karn will plus into the Vivian Reed. I probably won't give it to them immediately. Whoa! Made a token. They played the only card I didn't know about, and it was a land. That was... Well, it's a slight error, but it's not the biggest deal. Um, They don't have immediate pressure. It'd only be seven, because one token, and then this. Unless this card is a Karn, and then... I'm plussing. Oh, well. Actually, the Incubation Druid's not a good top deck for them later, so let's actually just minus on that. Well, they're going to find the Vivian Reed next turn. Well, not guaranteed, right? Because it's not on the top. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go for the mill plan. I th it's... <sighs> Alright, if I minus that... Incubation Druid. It's on the top of their deck, which means it's not a good top deck. Also, they might be interested in sacrificing Karn here, because why would they make one token if it's not applying some sort of hyper-lethal pressure? Alright, let's plus. Let's plus. Hold that thought. I can always just minus on this now. I'm actually just going to pass. This is not lethal. It, it can't be lethal, even through that uh, Karn second token. Which I'm very confident they will actually do. It doesn't make sense to do only one. Put me down to one here, unless they try to kill Teferi. Put me down to one. Oh, I'm sorry, it's only... Jeez. Uh, for some reason I thought the second token could just swing. I don't know why I thought that. So there's no way to take them off lethal. I'm gonna swing. I think I have higher chances of finding something on there. Ooh, jeez. Alright, well, let's take the Branch Walker. Let's play the Branch Walker. There's a Bedevil. So let's take that Bedevil. So I can block that... I can block a... Uh, right, let's snap this off before I think about anything. I die to a removal spell, right? Yeah. Alright, let's make it impossible for me to die next turn. Through a insane top deck. 
And now if they want to commit to killing Teferi, I get to kill this other token. They have one Krasis left in their deck, I think. It's like, that's what they're doing. Alright, so I'm going to wipe out this token here. So, uh, preceding Karn's not scary. I don't have a Teferi anymore, though. I like my, you like my odds? Okay, it's interesting they would keep that on top. I think they made a mistake because now I can just play it. Yeah, that was a mistake. They, they kind of messed that up. Yeah, rip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh. Oh no, opponent. What have you done? That was their last crisis too. <laughs> uh, I mean, they should have just milled it and hoped something else would have came out, but if that was their last attempt at winning anyways, sure. I can see putting it on the top. So we somehow got around whatever was going on. That's the reason I don't like Karn that much, because, as you saw, it was in play for so long. They even played a second one to immediately get what they found, and it still didn't matter. I, I don't really like Karn. The only reason I like Karn is because it's an excellent turn four play, especially in a slower deck like mine, but I don't I don't think that's what they're after. Now if it milled the cards, maybe, because then you could uh find finality them or something, but they get exiled. Let's see, do I want unmoored ego? I don't think so. I almost want some more counter spells though, like Take out a Clarion. Maybe one Unmoored Ego? Nah, that's wrong. I want both. Let's take out one Consecrate Consume. Yeah, Unmoored Ego for Krasis does seem good. Yes, it does. Absorb does feel good. I don't know what to take out. I don't really like concentrate, consecrate, consume. I really don't. Like if they're gonna find finality, I can just counter it. But the only problem is uh, carnage tyrant. But I do have wraths. Let's do it like that. This is. Probably one of the most common decks, but I've somehow not played against it that much, so it isn't a. Uh, I'm not totally familiar how to handle it yet. I've gotten the least amount of practice against it. Um, I like this hand kind of. It does things. It's not good against the rest, but I guess no hand is. I didn't see any Carnage Tyrants, but. Maybe they just didn't bring him in for game two for some weird reason. Uh, I have no answer to a turn three Jade Light Ranger. Oh uh, boy. What do you know? Alright, so probably have to mortify this thing. And probably before it hits me. I think. Um, uh, take a risk and just let it hit me. Leave up counter spell. Unless I play another Jade Light. And this is why being on the draw is really bad. Because of this insane opener. Actually, it's almost better without it, Lanterware Health, because they don't skip the cr uh, Walker.
I think that's fine. Because it doesn't do much without another explore creature, which I will have a counter spell for. Oh no. Alright, never mind. I guess I'm just dead on board. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess I'm not quite. <sighs> Alright, let's play Kaya's Wrath Mana just in case we find it. Um, I can play Teferi, Minus, Dead, Unward... <sighs> yep. That game would have been way different if I was on the play, but I won the last game, so that's not what would happen. That sucks. I can't interrupt their Growth Walker Jade Light stuff. Also, I dropped my mouse there. That's my bad. I don't know how one drops a mouse. It never, like, leaves the table, but... <laughs> yeah, I needed a wrath. I had, what, six? I think I took one out. Uh, I'm not going down to five. Nope. Well, this hand is decent. Not the best. Oh no, this is a terrible matchup. Uh, it's actually probably the worst matchup. Do they have the Curious Obsession? They do! Yep, there's no beat in this. Especially if I don't draw a land, then there's no beating it anyways. Uh, uh, ugh. I sure showed you. Spell Pierce. Yep. Opponent had the ultra hyper perfect opener for their deck. Even the not best opener, it wouldn't have mattered. I, I can't really beat this deck. It's so hard to beat this deck. Whoa. I think deciding, making decisions pre-combat doesn't, like, you should wait till you draw a card to figure out what's going on before you, uh, it doesn't really matter, but, um, let's have them stop doing this. I mean, the Storm Chaser can defend it, regardless. Another Spell Pierce. Oh, no, looks like they have to Storm Chaser. This is the Charter Course one, huh? Okay. There's Bedevil. Yep. Guess I'll just make them Wizards Retort on their turn. If I find a white source, I can try to Kaya's Wrath. Oh, they didn't even have to Wizards Retort, because I'm behind on land drops. There's a chance they don't have a Wizards Retort, but that seems very unlikely. They didn't even have another land? Uh... Yeah, there's no getting out of this. I don't even... I don't even have a good sideboard for this. Let's see, some Clarions, Thief of Sanity, and that's about it. Take out Tefiri. 
Nicol Bolas is a good blocker. I guess don't need Bedevil. Kind of want some Seferis. Take out a Chemist's Insight. Maybe just take them all out. Like, when do I have time to Chemist's Insight? I don't even know. I guess just the Teferi would be better. Yep, that's as good as it's going to get. Maybe an Eldritch Reborn instead of a Teferi? Counter... I mean, it kills something eventually. We're a Tef Yeah. Sure. There's, there's really just nothing. These are the matchups where you want, like, cast downs and moment of cravings, but I don't have any. I don't know if this matchup is common enough to where I want to have answers for what's going on. But maybe I do, I don't know. It'd make red a better matchup, but again, that's not very common either. The only deck I like to sideboard against more heavily is like Sultai. Well, we have no answer to a uh, Curious Obsession on the one drop again. I didn't find a Thought Eraser. Now they don't have it, so maybe Charticors? Search for Scott, I wasn't expecting that at all. Let us... I don't think I'm too scared of Search for Escanta. There's not much it can actually hit that, like, really affects me. Let's get greedy and play our own. Like, it hits, what, Spell Pierces, Ops, Charter Course, Wizard Retort. But if they're trying to tap out on my end step for Escanta, I think I can win that game. Tempest Gin. Alright. I'm going to kill that right now. I don't need that land. Ooh, that was good. Oh no, I can't white, white, black, black because it's Steam Fence. That was the reason not to play Steam Fence. Alright, let's snap this off then. No fourth land. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's going to be a bit difficult to answer this 1-1. One, one. I could have answered it earlier, but I think playing the Skanta was better for me that turn. Because I don't have many chances to actually resolve it. Or take the time to cast it. Let's just pass. I'm not very scared of the one drop. Especially when it's all on its own. If my opponent wants to play a slower game, which is what Escant is kind of doing, or aiming to do, I, I'm kind of fine with that. What have we gotten rid of? Two lands so far and a Mortify. Whoa, what the... Oh, all their land art is different. I didn't even... Alright, um, I'm going to fight over this now. This will incentivize a counterspell. Probably. Alright, now we can kill this thing. I guess not through a dive down still? Actually, that, uh, that's not good. There's Teferi. I don't want to get rid of you. Yep, well, let's try. I think they have dive down or opt in their hand. Looks like dive down. Of course. Alright, well, now we need to um, have Kaya's Wrath resolve now, which is kind of impossible. Well, not impossible. If three wizards retorts left. Although the fact that they're playing this means they might have a way to get around a sweeper. Otherwise, I don't think they're interested in overcommitting. Eldritch Reborn? Sure. I mean, it can do something eventually.
Yep. Nothing I can do. I wonder if they have the tutu. I haven't even seen it yet. Alright, well we're dead next turn. Unless we find... I, I don't even know. Another wrath? It has to resolve. Uh... Tefiri, they have... They've got to have... I mean, they've seen half their deck. There's no way I'm finding anything that gets us out of this. I guess it doesn't hurt to try. None of those do it. And we're dead. Yep. Well, I just got pummeled. But it's a terrible matchup, though. I guess it could be better if I had cast downs and moment cravings. And that could be a reason why to run those cards. Oh, that's weird. So, I did break even at least, funny enough. Path of Discovery. Alright, well. Huh. GG.